for us PAA is an incredible sort of um, actors from different sectors and partnerships and a source of learning for us to really bolster all of our collective efforts towards building an impact economy across Asia and beyond. So UBS's purpose is to reimagine the power of investing and connect people for a better world. And nowhere is this more truly embodied than in the UBS Optimist Foundation, our philanthropic arm, which has now over 100 cross-disciplinary impact experts around the world who have spent time building the expertise and the skills and the knowledge to be able to support our clients to execute their philanthropic visions. And two of the things that get uh, our little team of impact chasers the most excited are around blended finance and the potential for blended finance uh, and collective philanthropy, really those collaborative efforts that can drive an impact economy that values people and planet to the same degree of importance than our current system values economic profit. And for us, on the blended finance side, we have launched a $100 million SDG outcomes initiative, which truly has a blend of different types of capital. So a philanthropic tranche that has provided the de-risking for the structure and the first loss guarantee to unlock the commercial and investor capital needed to solve some of these very, very complicated problems. The second on collective philanthropy, we launched a series of UBS collectives, which all focus on bringing together, again, the power of partnership, bringing together clients who share the same purpose and passion, for example, around climate change, and taking them on a multi-year learning journey and collaborative leadership program that holds the promise in Southeast Asia, for example, for catalyzing the blue carbon market. And this is a very experiential way to help philanthropists take some of those risks together in a way that also helps them see and experience on the ground through our field trips in the likes of Vietnam or Ghana or India, the experts and the impact organizations and the communities that their dollars are benefiting. So lots going on and lots more to come through this pathway of collaboration and learning that Philanthropy Asia Alliance is also supporting. I'm proud to say that we have been a partner to Tomasek's philanthropic in initiatives since the inaugural Philanthropy Asia Summit in 2021, uh, where we announced a $2 million partnership with the Mangrove 40 program for Earth Security. I'm delighted to still be involved very much so with Tomasek on, on that one. In 2022, we committed another $2 million into innovative financing mechanisms for tertiary education across Asia. And finally, this year, of course, we are delighted to be core members of the Philanthropy Asia Alliance, really because we share that same passion and alignment um, in interest for fostering a more effective and a more um, streamlined ecosystem across Asia and beyond. UBS, of course, as you know, is sort of um, a huge global financial player and has a lot of different networks amongst a lot of different stakeholders. And what we've been doing at the UBS Optimus Foundation is trying to find ways of navigating that complex arena to build the right stakeholders in an impact first way. So really bringing together multi-stakeholder partnerships such as in our blended finance initiatives, which are really geared at bringing different capital players in the spectrum, but also at utilizing philanthropic players, impact organizations, for-profit and non-profit, corporates and governments to be able to provide transformative, scalable, sustainable solutions to some of the world's most pressing problems. Hi, I'm Cheryl, I'm from UBS, and I am delighted to be part of the Philanthropy Asia Alliance. <music>